we're back with another configuration video as if i've made more than one of those i've made one of those but this time it is for the magic mouse Whew. i'll show you how i configured it using a tool called better touch tool i bought the license a long long time ago and i'm still using the old one but i believe that the newer one just has all the same features except more you can decide for yourself. I'll show you how I configured it and how it makes my everyday workflow super awesome and seamless. So let's jump in. Okay, so let me start with when I first got the Magic Mouse. So I went to System Preferences and I wanted to see what was available to me first. So let's go to Mouse. I tested everything out to see what it does. Scroll direction natural so that's when i move down it goes up and when i move up it goes down i don't prefer this for my mouse secondary click click on right side so that's that smart zoom double tap with one finger i didn't find too much value in that so more gestures swipe left or right with two fingers okay yeah i don't find the direction natural like I, when i go this way i expect to go forward i just left that on but i barely use it so that's all you can configure in the default system preferences which just wasn't enough for me in comes better touch tool so i have a few configurations i listed them in order from like pretty much my most used my favorites i'll just show you them first tip tap right is maximizing the window to my right so like that so the action, if you can see over here, is just, and then similarly, tip tap left. I use that all the time because I open um, screen side by side all the time. And if I want to maximize window, supposed to be, there you go. I have my two finger swipe up as mission control. So I do that and it goes, you know, I see everything. And I don't think it was configured such that if I swipe down, it, goes back so i actually made the two finger swipe down my control three which from my ann pro configuration you might know is um like mission control toggle essentially so i made it such that two finger swipe up does that and then two finger swipe down just toggles control three and it emulates that behavior so pinch in pinch out is it's like a hack i really wished that this worked the zoom but it just doesn't so instead what it does is the same as command um i'll show you command like minus and command equals or plus so it will just zoom like that like so sometimes it's like it doesn't work but there you go you can see that and it's just not the best and it also doesn't work for everything so um but it's fine i can live without the zoom then we have three finger swipe left which um moves right and left to space so i just have that as this but honestly i don't really use that too much i pretty much just use my configuration on my keyboard which is control um and the like less than or greater than signs and then i have i oh so these i actually never use so it's tip swipe left finger down so two fingers fixed just like this so let me just try it oh it worked okay well that's nice like the opposite action i made to maximize and enter full screen so like that Ugh. there you go it's a bit gimmicky and so i just never really use it but the other configurations i use a lot especially the tip swipe so let me just try closing it there we go. Uh, for closing window, I just use Command W. I, I have one hand on the keyboard at all times, so I use all my keyboard shortcuts instead, which I can make a video about if you'd like. So an example of how you can add something as a gesture, you add a new gesture, and then your options for gestures are here. So there are a ton that you can use, and I mean a ton. I would just scroll through these. I played around with this for like a couple hours and figured out what I need and then I adjusted because some things were not ideal. And then you can either make it a custom keyboard shortcut, so trigger a shortcut like I have here, or you can do a predefined action. 
So these are all things that you could do on the Mac, um, even like screenshots. There's so many configurations. I would encourage you to go through them. These are just the ones that I found would be most useful to me. Next, I'm gonna show the special settings for the advanced. I'm just kidding, it's not that advanced. So I'll go through from general. So set, setting the mouse speed, I have mine at this. I like my mouse to be pretty fast. And so I can go to clicks and something I really found cool was that like, you know, you can show this live view and like where things are on the mouse. And you can configure like where your middle click ranges, like there's just a lot, you know? I wanna talk more about my tip taps. I had to configure these a lot such that they don't accidentally trigger, that the sensitivity is just right for me. So I would again, encourage you to like, it might be a bit frustrating when you're first setting it up, but don't fret, um, just keep adjusting these settings until you find the, the perfect configuration. You even have like, you know, the swipe sensitivity, zoom, pinch, scroll, the areas to ignore on the mouse. We can see ignore settings. Very, very cool. Touch on a single finger tap area. Oh, interesting. I'm like still playing around with it. Okay. As you can see, you've unlocked the full capability of the magic mouse if you have better touch tools. So I just highly recommend Something I found really cool was the usage of the features. So with the magic mouse, um, one finger tap left click was used the most. That's a given. Then we have like, these are the things I use the most in better touch tool. And then these are the things I use the most in terms of the magic mouse with better touch tool. Two finger tap as right click. I have that set up. I guess I disabled it. it probably was triggering too much. So maximize window right, left, and this, these are like my most used. And that, that's it. I, I encourage you to just play around with the magic mouse and better touch tool. Uh, I think it's a really great software that you could literally configure every single thing that you can think of and more with. So if you do have a magic mouse, consider getting this tool to really amplify your usage of it. So yeah, that's it. I've revealed all oh, I hope you enjoyed. This guy is definitely a luxury, but now that I have it and I've leaned into it, I love it so much. And I don't really know what I would do without it. I also really love that you can like horizontally scroll on it because I use that a lot when I'm editing videos. It's just really great. I would recommend it if you have the budget for it, even if you have the Ann Pro 2 and all the shortcuts set up, I still think it is a really like nice addition to your whole tech. Stack. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your configuration is for your magic mouse. What do you use? And I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.